All right, guys, it's race day. We're still at Union County Dragway. Uh, we are loading up, heading to Piedmont. Just got everything hooked up in the RV. Randy is taking his car. My car is broken. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. Thrust is knocked out of it. So it's one of those things we're gonna be working on that this next week, trying to get it ready for JJ's boss race. So let's go to Piedmont, go try to get some all steel, all glass. Check it out, guys. If y'all wanna support the channel, head on over to turbojohnracing.com. Grab yourself some hats and t-shirts. Thanks, guys. what's up guys we made it this is track number two in two days three days randy is on the way uh we're parked out here in my car we got the push vehicle here it is fixed ready to go the clutch actuator uh was bad so that's what i had to put on it last time it got it stuck so we should have a push car today it worked good yesterday pushing houston's around so i think we're going to be okay but Randy's on the way. He'll be here shortly. Uh, they did find a bad shock. Him and Courtney were uh, messing with it last night. The right shock, uh, probably two races ago, three races ago, was the last time we checked the pressure in the back shocks. Milton checked them, and they were set at 60 or 75. I think they were 60. But the right one, when they checked them last night, the right one was at 30 pounds. So it has lost 30 pounds of pressure. And then they also, they did a, a gravity test. They put them both on full soft, pushed them both up into car. And they also did this on uh, full tight. And the right side one would drop twice as fast as the left one, but it was a noticeable difference. So luckily our buddy Donald, he's putting a different set of shocks on the back of the red car, the Coyote car. So he let Randy uh, put his nine inch travel ones on it. So they worked today, last night and this morning, getting that thing ready uh, to go. So made some adjustments, changed the shocks and hopefully we're gonna go down and actually go straight so we can apply some power to get this thing to go faster. All right, guys, Randy made it. This is the this this is the second time we we're cutting it close. <laughs> hey, we we're a little bit earlier this time. Though. Last time they were calling for us to the lanes when we got here and got it unloaded. So this this time we're a little bit before drivers meeting. So um, let me show you what he done up back. All right, guys. So this is another set of Mark Minster shocks. Uh, these are a little bit newer. Uh, so they did find, like I said, they found one shock that was bad, and so the right one was uh very very it felt gravity wise different uh than the other one uh now what we did do we had not done this before we talked about doing it but we never done it uh but we did it now is the shock bracket to make the rear end hang straight this shock bracket you can see we've got four holes above and on the other one we got three and so now the rear end is not hanging near as crooked it's still a little bit off but not perfect I uh, think what's going to have to happen is uh, someone's going to have to go up in where the shock mount's in top. He said it didn't look like nothing was bent or anything, but something is definitely uh, a little different. 
uh, and make this thing so that it hangs at the proper at the proper uh, group. Uh, but this should hopefully hopefully it'll go down. Got the anti roll bar set uh, neutral, so we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens. All right, guys, here we go. First round coming up. We got this thing. Hopefully, it's going to go. Uh, it's one of those things we made the right adjustments, I think. I mean, we don't know until we get out there and we make a pass. We do have to race. First round, I think Randy said we had over 20 cars. Uh, we've got to race the guy that we knocked the tire off against, the white G body. That's who we got to race first round. So there's a chance for some redemption here if the car goes straight. Uh, Hopefully it does. I mean, it's just one of those things. Uh, we got a pretty decent tune-up in it. I mean, he's going to go fast uh, if the car works and goes straight. That's all we need it to do. Uh, we got power. It's just a matter of getting this thing suspension-wise figured out so that it'll go down. Here we go. First round. All right, guys. Here we go. Rematch. Rematch. Here we go. Let me fix our prep the track. First round. Let's we'll see what we see here.
that's drag racing right there for you. So uh, what had happened was, is he spooled it up, pre-staged it, and hit the bump, and the car didn't move. It would not bump in, so he got timed out. Uh, those, are, those are tricky situations. I mean, you can't manually bump it on the trans brake fast enough with it wide open throttle. So if that ever happens, what you have to do is ease off the gas at the same time you pulse the normal trans brake button and hope that you can roll in and get boost back fast enough. Um, no idea why it didn't bump. That's not something that we have messed with at all. So I don't know, we might have lost. I'll look at the data log and see if um, it may have lost signal or the button could be going bad. I mean, there's a whole host of things that could be happening to make the bump not occur. So, uh, I mean, but it, I mean, I, I mean, it was, it was there. It made a pass. It drifted left a little bit at the top, but that was slight, slight, slight. So, I mean, the car looked like it was pretty good. Um, that right there is raceable. We have no idea what it runs, no clue. But they are doing a second chance race, so we're gonna hop in that and uh, we'll try again in a minute. All right, guys, so thinking maybe uh, transmission fluid's a little bit low. So this is the data log from the no bump. Uh, you can see over here, bump out 100% meets trans brakes on, and then the bump scramble button is when it bumps and then the bump output changes to it pulses, it cycles. So he pressed the button here and it changed it to 96% and that should have started bumping the car. And so uh, we gotta make sure that um, transmission got good fluid. That may be all it is, is transmission's a little bit low. We've had that happen to us one time at, at Darlington against Nigel. Uh, the pass was actually really good, so we're going to leave everything the same on the pass, and um, they got a second chance race, so we're going to check the second chance now. Alright guys, here we are, second chance race, a lot of cars, hey how are y'all, what's up, good seeing y'all, good seeing y'all, go check out their channel, 660 Racing, good seeing you. So they're doing first round up there now. Um, second chance coming up. Here's Derek. Eric is right behind you in the truck. So Randy, we gotta race Eric Altry. Eric is, uh, I hadn't seen him out in a while. He's a heck of a driver. Yeah, uh, he's been racing forever. And now he is driving a turbo truck, which is really, really, really nice. Uh, that thing is sweet. I am digging it. I like it. So second chance. We'll see what happens. Here you go.
Alright, so we've been playing with the bump. Don't know why it's not bumping. So I just changed the settings. And we're going to see if it bumps this time. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, some weekends are just, yeah, it's, it's part of racing though, right? You gotta race it, you gotta make stuff happen. The car did bump that time, have no idea. I changed it two numbers, and Brandy said it was pretty violent, so probably changing it one number is gonna be the right move. I have no idea why. We haven't messed with the bumps, we hadn't had to. The only time I play with the bumps is when Randy tells me it's too violent or it's too soft, it's not coming in fast enough, it's not bumping good enough. I guess part of our daily routine from this point forward is going to be, we're going to be spooling the car up, which we do anyway. Before we go make a pass, we spool it up, but we're going to have to test the bump to make sure that it bumps. It's just a little sketchy, guys. I mean, you know, you're sitting in the pits, the car's got to be on the ground, or at least they recommend being on the ground, and then you're bumping. If something goes wrong, the car takes off and it goes. So you got to be on your P's and Q's, you know, being aware in the car, trying to make sure that if something goes wrong, that you can get the car shut down quickly. So, uh, yeah, I'm not real thrilled about that, honestly. But, I mean, we were a first-round duck tonight because of that because we actually made a good pass. Uh, other thing, we haven't been able to get a time slip all night. All night. First pass, we didn't bump in. They let us make a pass, but they didn't turn on the tree. That was a good pass. It was probably personal best of the year. But there again, we don't know. I mean, it went fast. Uh, second pass, we got uh, a 60-foot hit but he did not run it all the way because it didn't bump again. So he was concerned the transmission was messed up. Don't blame him. That's past there. We got up there and I didn't show y'all, but there was a super that went around us because uh, Randy was getting buckled in and it took a little, little it took a minute to get buckled in. So he let the other dude go around, not to hold up stuff because they got curfews out here. Uh, and he broke something in the rear end. So it took about 15 minutes to get him off the track 
So we think the track kind of got cold. The air temperature out here now is probably 65 degrees. So it's just one of those things, guys. I mean, it's part of racing. Uh, it is what it is. Um, oh, and we, we didn't get a time set for that one. It made it to point, point 0.9 seconds in the run before it kicked the tire. Uh, G meter was a little faster. I turned it up just a tad and it had a little bit more boost there, but the G meter wasn't really, really, really high. It was like 0.2 higher on the G meter when it spun. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I mean, we had a good time. It was fun. Uh, we had a bunch of folks out here. Uh, Brandon was here. He already left. JW, Daniel, Brian, Randy. We did, it's we did. going in the trailer under its own power. And the transmission ain't broke. That's right. But we do have to figure out if the transmission cooler, cooler. is working. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get it fixed up this week. And it definitely didn't twist as much. Yeah. But I think I think it needs a bigger anti roll bar. I think. I don't know exactly which one to get. Because it's still twisting just a tad. Yeah. So, I don't know. It, uh, it is what it is. It's fun. Be, I had a good time. It'll be fun figuring it out. Yeah, that's right. All right, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. We'll be racing. Well, I don't know when we're going to be racing again. I, don't, I have no idea. It's supposed to go to JJ's next week, but my car is over there. Uh, <laughs> we we got to fix that one tomorrow. There's so, another race uh, at TKM with Rockingham. Oh, that's in October. That's is it in September? October. Is it October or September? I don't even know what day it is. I don't know. There's, there's a race coming up soon. See y'all.